guys, Anthony Jones here with Brigade Boats, and today I'm going to do a step-by-step -step installation on a product called Gator Skins. It's manufactured by the fine folks at Gator Guards. It is a great product that can add some flair to your boat and give you that custom look, but also give you some enhanced performance. Thanks for joining me. If this is your first time dropping by the channel, kindly subscribe to the channel, stay up to date on all the awesome stuff we're going to be doing here at Brigade Boats in the year 2021. Let's get to it, guys. Gator Skins is the most durable non-skid material designed and used by boat manufacturers. It is not cheap sandpaper-like skateboard grip tape. Okay guys, quick rundown of what I'm gonna be using for this project. Got a couple pieces of aluminum. These are gonna act as my straight edges to actually cut the Gator Skins. Of course, I have a whole roll of Gator Skins. I'm gonna leave the link down in the description of where you can purchase Gator Guards Gator Skins. Got the manufacturer's instructions that came with a roll. I've got a couple pairs of scissors of various sizes, razor knife. Got delicate painter's tape, and I'm going to show you in a little bit what I use this for. I'm going to use it for my reveals on the back tray and on the front around the trolling motor using delicate because this boat has a fresh, brand spanking new, bright blue paint job. So we want to protect that. Cobalt measuring tape, white crayon in case I need to draw on any of the gator skins to uh, get some sort of a shape um, or, or draw a template to need to be cut out. We got 70% uh, alcohol. They recommend 70, 90. You're gonna cut it 50 to 50 and put it in this spray bottle. So I got a spray bottle. Of course, I got some snacks. Okay guys, I got my first piece cut and I'm about to install it in this center tray. But before I do, I wanted to go over a couple quick things. Number one, I busted out the work light so I could actually see visibility in the shop is very low. And um, number two, they recommend that the surface is 70 degree working temperature and that the gator skins is 70 degree working temperature. So what I did was I left this unrolled flat in the boat overnight. And as you can see, this shop has climate control. So the heat was set to 70 degrees. And um, so hopefully we're there, but just in case I broke out a heat gun, I'm just gonna kind of lightly heat the, uh, the tray before I install this. But another thing we gotta do is we gotta use the 50-50 mix of the alcohol water that I did. And we're gonna clean it real good with paper towels. And then once we clean it real good with paper towels, we're gonna spray this on there and it's gonna get wet. And then we're gonna peel this and what's gonna happen is we're gonna lay this down over the wet surface and it's gonna actually activate this and help it bind to the surface. All right, so as you can see, what I'm doing with the tape is I'm marking, just running it flush with the corner, and that signifies an inch. And then that's gonna give me a corner to measure to from here to here and from here down. And I'm just gonna recreate that shape to give me a nice reveal. I don't want everything going corner to corner. Um, some people do, but I like the, the look of it having, having a surround, a picture frame to it. So we're gonna get a little decorative with it, but that's how I'm gonna get this shape. Now I'm just gonna measure it out and transfer it over. And as you can see, I've got some dots signifying. What I did was I measured down, that was seven, 15. I measured over four and down, straight down. That was six and a quarter. And so now I could come up diagonal, turn this corner and go up that way. I double checked this to be 13, so I'm good to go. You're gonna see how I cut it out and we'll get it installed.
very very nice guys and uh, the customer is running an electric outboard so where that hole was is for his cable to his outboard so after this cures and sets I'll come back out and I'll razor knife that out at a later time um, I did want to quickly note that I'm cutting these shapes square but as you can see there's a little bit of a gap and a little bit of a gap because these transom supports and really right here it, they are way out of square so all I'm going to do is make my cut square instead of trying to make my cuts crooked to accommodate this. So just a quick note on that. Okay, same deal over here with the tape. I'm just going to repeat the process, measure it out, mark it out, cut it, clean it, spray it, get it wet, heat it up, stick it down. Okay, back is done, and that turned out really, really sweet, guys. Very excited. Can't wait to share this with the customer. Quick note, there are some access panels that I made, and there was uh, some vent cowls that were on the corners of the rear that I cut off, and I'm going to cap them with some uh, removable covers. And those covers, I'm going to run the gator skins on, but they're at the house, and I was just trying to get this main stuff done in this heated shop. I could do those at the house. So at the end of the video, I'll show you the final product, but we're gonna skip ahead to the front of the boat at this point. Okay, so this is the part I'm actually been looking forward to is doing the front by the trolling motor. What I wanna do instead of sheet this whole front and one solid piece is I wanna do some sort of a pattern and I haven't decided what I wanna do. So I'm gonna make it up as I go along. He does have a nav light here and he's actually got two Garmin units and one of them is live scope. So we're just gonna kinda have to work around what he's got on this front. But I envision doing some sort of strips or pretty much cutting out an overall shape and then coming back and stripping it out. And so we're just gonna get creative with it, guys. I got some tape on it, just kinda mocked up. I think that's what we're gonna go with is where it's blue, that's gonna represent the gator skins and the tape on the outside is the outside perimeter. Um, I'm gonna do one line down the middle and then over here we're gonna strip that out with one little strip and so it'll be one, two, three. But uh, I'm gonna cut it as one big one and then take an inch out of the middle and piece it back together on the boat. You'll see in a second. I was actually able to measure all this out and transfer it over to here. As you can see, here's my angle and then from this point over and then from that point up. Now I'm just gonna cut it out and then we'll cut the strip out of the middle. So now we're gonna cut the line down the middle. So I found center, marked it with the white crayon. I'm gonna take the one inch tape, put it over the mark center, and that'll give me a place to run my, um, my metal tube to cut. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut on both sides and instead of just making one cut and, and spacing it out, cause then that'll shove this part out further and hit edges that I don't wanna hit, if that makes any sense. So we're gonna do two cuts, one on each side of the tape to take out an inch out of the middle. As you can see, I've got that one inch tape directly center of the crayon. You can almost see the crayon through the tape, which is great. And I'm gonna put my straight edge on the edges of the tape like so. And then what I can do is I can measure off my straight edge and make sure that we are dead center. And so straight off, I've got seven and three eighths. And then up here, I've got seven and three eighths. So I'm gonna make my cut. I know that's where I need to be. And another thing you wanna do if you can is try to plan out all your cuts so you have minimal waste. So with this very last piece, I'm gonna cut it out of this drop 
right here, it's going to work out just perfect. So between doing the back tray and the front of the boat, the only waste that I've had is going to be these two little pieces. So just try to measure things out and plan it out so you have minimal waste so you could take your material and get more done with it instead of having a lot of leftovers. Okay, so that is it. One final thing I did was I went around all the gator skins that I installed and heated it one last time with a heat gun. I'm done here in this shop. As the loaner shop, I'm gonna take the boat back to the house. So we're gonna skip ahead to the final product. I hope that you enjoy what you've seen. Hopefully it could uh, help you out and give you some ideas. And uh, I think you're really gonna like the look of this boat when it's all said and done. Guys, check me out on Facebook, Brigade Boats, and Instagram, Adub Jones. Thanks again, guys.